so our female Herman tortoise has laid eggs today. I've seen her in here um, digging her nest earlier on. I have seen her deposit a few eggs, so I've left her to do her business, cover the eggs back up, and she's um, gone off now to get some food. So I'm going to dig these eggs up, see how many there are, and as you can see, I've got my egg box set up, so I'm going to set them up, get them in the incubator, and hopefully 60 days time from today, we should have some baby tortoises. So here goes. So I'll just use my hands because um, obviously, you know, if I go in there with any kind of, uh, from what I've seen, the eggs were quite close to the surface as well. So if I go in here with any kind of tools or anything, I'm going to risk uh, damaging the, the actual eggs. So let's have a look, see what we can find. And straight away, right there's the, there's the burrow there. So you see my finger starts to go in nice and easily. There we go. So I'm just being gentle, just making sure that I don't feel anything, I don't push down. Right, so I just had to stop there because I was uh, interrupted, but uh, as you can see there's the start here of the first egg, so I've got down to where the nest is now. So what we're going to do is just going to start digging these out. And I've got my egg tub ready with uh, some already heated up damp vermiculite. So we'll take these eggs out. It doesn't matter what orientation currently uh, I sit them back down in here because uh, these eggs will, uh, the embryo will attach itself in the next couple of days. So for the time being, um, it's not really an issue whichever way. And these are quite actually quite big eggs. And you can see in the hole there, uh, there's a few more in there as well. So I just keep digging away. And there's another one. So again, nice big egg, clean some of that mud off them. And again, we'll just bury it down inside that. Normally these will lay uh, three to four eggs. Um, they might lay a couple of clutches a year, two, maybe three a year. We've not had any so far this year. So this is the first ones, but there's another one. In it goes. I can see another one just there. So we'll get that one out and see if there's any more. I think these are huge eggs. Huge. And pop that one in as well. So we'll just have a feel around here, see if there is any more. Should have quite a big hole, so I'll be surprised if there isn't any more, but you never know. And that looks like it, so I'll just set these up and I'll show you them going into the incubator. Right, so here we are then. The eggs are now set up in my vermiculite mix. You can see them there. So it's actually laid four eggs, which is a standard set. Well, it's kind of the, the high average size clutch for, for the species of Herman that we keep. Um, these guys, I will incubate them at 91 and a half to 92 degrees so that we try and aim for, for these to be female. If we incubate lower, there's a more chance of them being male. And in between the 92 and 88, uh, around the kind of 89, 90 kind of range, that's when you're gonna get the mixture of sexes, male and female. So incubate them a little higher on the uh, hope that we get some females. But So this is just a, a mix of, of damp vermiculite. It's um, not wet it's uh it's uh, probably a little bit drier than i'd um, use if i was um mixing this up for my royal pythons and um, i want to keep a uh, humidity around about 80 percent in here so with a lid popped on you know like this it's not airtight and um air can circulate around there and the moisture will stay in there as well so it'll do a good job so i'm just going to um pop these guys into my incubator now i am actually incubating royal python eggs at the moment I've got a couple of clutches in, in here, to excuse the uh, foil on the front there. It was nice and neat until one of the tortoises came past and decided it wanted to try and walk in there when it was out on a free roaming day. But yep, in here we've got a couple of clutches, last two clutches now of uh, Royal Python eggs there, incubating at the bottom, around 90 degrees and 
Uh, this clutch is due to hatch in a couple of day, um, a couple of weeks. Sorry, this clutch here you can't see in there, but that's actually due to hatch. Um, well, today it should have hatched this week, to be fair. So for the next couple of days, they're going to incubate around about on, the, on this top one. It should incubate around 90, 91 degrees, 91 and a half, something like that. So uh, I'll pop my water bottles back in here as well, just to this helps to just circulate. Well. These maintain the heat, so if I ever had a problem with um, the incubator packing in, these will hold heat a little bit better and just kind of maintain maintain it for a little bit so I can sort anything out. But yeah, that's some in the incubator. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed we shall see. 60 days time, hopefully we shall have some baby tosses.